This is called Only Now. Just because we people say we don't play stuff off the third album. Yeah.
Sensuality I know that angels come from time to time On a perfect day Come my way And see what matters and what you never Can you see better things coming your way? Can you feel the heavy air lifting off your days? Can you see it's easy when you open up your mind? I know that angels come from time to time. to space me and my faith I know that angels come from time to time 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 Thank you. Thanks for coming Thank out. Is it feeding back? Are we all right? Something could be feeding back. Is yeah. That's okay. Right, this is Chrome Waves.
This one's called Paralyzed.
<laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. Right, thank you very much. Thank you. I think we should take a second to just tune up quick. Let's check that, yeah? Yes. Just a minute, yeah. Two more. Um, this next song. What's that noise? I'm wow. scared right now. Yeah, that's. I like that. Can we have more <laughs> of that? Um, this next song's called "In a Different Place."
Thank you. So it's uh, one, one more for the road. Yeah, it's the last one. Uh, thanks for having us in this amazing space. It's 
fantastic being here and thanks for coming. And we're gonna make some pots after this thing. <laughs> <laughs> This is incredible. I have to say this is a bit surreal. In my wildest imaginations, I didn't think I would be sitting in Katowice, Poland, in a porcelain factory mm -hmm. talking to the two of you. This is pretty special. That makes three of us, I guess, yeah. yeah <laughs> so it is kind of surreal, for sure. But it's a beautiful space to play music. It is, and that yeah. set sounded gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Well, Mark, we've been longtime friends. Uh, mm -hmm. You're a big uh, friend of KEXP and Andy. We've spoken to you a time or so, and uh, mm -hmm. obviously we're longtime fans of Ride and uh, mm -hmm. more current fans of the projects that you've been involved with over the years. But I, I don't have to tell you how many people are so excited that the band is playing shows again. And I know it's mm -hmm. something, at least that I've read, that you've had on your mind for a while mm. and uh, even before the public was aware that it was going to happen mm. how did it come to be at this time because you've known each other for a long time 
Yeah. Oh, and I mean, the other band members. Yeah. Um, just good timing, I guess, really. That's the yeah. simplest answer. Just been something that's been creeping on the horizon for a little bit, but um, just kind of this time it cropped up at the right moment for us all. So. And it's weird, and it? it always seemed that as soon as that the things cleared to suddenly make it happen, then it suddenly gets that momentum and energy again that it always kind of seemed to have back back in the day as well. It's it's odd how that happens. Things seem to align in the end quite naturally. Um, but yeah, for, for sure. I guess the last time we spoke, I wouldn't have had any idea that this, we'd be here in <laughs> speaking with KXP in Poland here in Katowice. Yeah. So, but you know, I guess life's good like that. It's been a mm. long time until these shows started that the band had played together, mm. and uh, you had a, a time or two that you played in the intervening years. But mm. what has it felt like to be out on the road? What was that? that first show like and did you oh, expect it to go cool. on as long as it did uh, it's been super cool um, the the first show that we announced was Glasgow Barrowland that was the, that was like the beginning of the tour but we ended up going on, out on the road before that because we got offered Coachella and then to warm up for that we did um, a show in Oxford just to start things rolling so that's a hometown show in a venue that we played a few times back in the early 90s so that was yeah. a very special night I mean, we were, it was musically kind of vibey, but a little bit ragged maybe because it was the first time. Mm. But it was great. And, and it's felt great carrying on and getting better at it and, you know, throwing new songs into, the, you know, not new songs, but new other songs from the old albums now and again when we can. Yeah, and even, for, even just re to be back in rehearsal situation was pretty special because it was kind of... I guess when you, we've done different projects and we've all been doing different bits and pieces, but I suppose only when you kind of come back, then you sort of go, oh, yeah, there was that, there's, that, there's a kind of a voodoo in the room which maybe was missing with other things for me personally anyway, you know? So it was something like, oh yeah, that's, that's what it was, you know? Um, so that, that felt really good. And to be honest, I just feel quite blessed that we can do this again and um, enjoy it. And, yeah, we took, we've taken this really seriously. The shows have really demanded that we've kind of rehearsed more than we ever rehearsed back in the day. Just feels lucky that we yeah. are the original lineup. Yeah. And no one's sort of like missing. It's so everyone's healthy. Everyone's happy to do it. And mm. you know, to have that all come together was was pretty much like it felt like it was meant to be at that point. You know. Yeah. Well, you're all seem in great places in your lives. You've done so much. Obviously, you've grown. You're 20 years older mm -hmm. and uh, matured a little just in general, as we all do <laughs> with age. <laughs> Nothing pointed in that yeah. comment. But I'm wondering what it feels like. You know, songs have emotion. Everything in mm -hmm. life has emotion um, that's attached to the time that yeah. that happened. And you're singing songs that you wrote in a different part of your life and mm -hmm. maybe not you know, spent the intervening time singing mm. them. How does it feel to be in that headspace again? It's, I mean, for me, yeah, it's, it's, it's moving and it's, it's a sort of slightly cathartic at times, but also I feel that when you play even the older songs to in a new place or to new people in a new zone, it kind of just feels new again, really. It still feels fresh again. It doesn't, I mean, that's kind of how it's been feeling for me. And, and yeah, I, I think we're definitely aware that we're playing to a lot of people that are maybe too young or, or you know, missed it the first time around and stuff. So it kind of feels strangely right, but again, at this, at this time, yeah. It's like, it's like it to go on from that. Um, it's kind of like an education from your younger self on how to write songs yeah. <laughs> um, in a way, because it's like you, they're all a bit laid bare, you know, in a way that isn't, so much what you do, I guess, when you, you get older and better at disguising what you're trying to write about. Um, mm. You know, these songs are from a different kind of style of writing and, uh, than I'm used to doing now. So I'm kind of trying to relearn that way of thinking. Yeah. Did you have to relearn the songs themselves? Yeah. A, f a few. <laughs> yeah, because some, some, I mean, some we hadn't really played at all. I mean, some we didn't even play back in the day, really. Mm. Um, a lot of it's about learning the recorded versions because you know you, you if you write the song you know it and you feel like you have it inside but but you might sit there and play it. I mean for Va Vapor Trail I was playing it wrong all the time because I wasn't referring back to the record, well mm. wrong in inverted commas kind of thing. Then I yeah. learnt it. I still don't play it right, but 
<laughs> that sounded pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Right got there. by the end. We're getting it. It's got a weird swing that I just can't do. Yeah. Until halfway through, and then it comes in and it gets the right. <laughs> Even though you had to relearn the songs or how to play them from mm. the records, do you feel like the chemistry locked in immediately when you started playing? I yeah. mean, yeah, I think f from the first rehearsal onwards, it was pretty, yeah, it was straight away, it was there. I mean, we, yeah. We had to check that, like, we, we made the announcement and then we took a weekend in the country with our guitars and amps and just went to the middle of nowhere and set the gear up and started playing. Not ride songs, just, just playing. Because um, we had to check that the whatever it was was still there. And, um, had you already made the commitment? Yeah, and I mean, you had luckily to do it, it was way. cool because if it hadn't been, we'd have been like um, on Monday. Um, you know those gigs we were going to do. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was cool. It was an, it was good to capture that as well because it was an odd time because we, you know, we we weren't really aware of what the reaction would be when that announcement was made. So it was actually good to share that moment together because and just to play music and be a band at, at, at that time. Um, cause it, 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 yeah, I, I think it would have felt quite odd to have just sort of been at home on your own, kind of like going, what's, you know, be yeah, you guys, what's like, going on, guys? Make the announcement and then go home and sort of like sit on your own, that'd be... Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, across the board, mm. the reaction has been mm. phenomenal, and I am so excited to see you doing these songs acoustically, which I've never seen you perform this way, yeah. and mm. I can't wait to see the show tonight, but... But you know, um, talking about like America, obviously, where you're going to be broadcasting this, we're going to come back in September and play some shows. And I really hope we can do what we used to do back in the day was come around to radio stations and play in person in every town. You know, we used to do that in the afternoon. Yeah. As I remember it, that still happened. It does, and you are absolutely invited yeah. back to KEXP. Cool. I mean, you've already got a date yeah. <laughs> on the calendar uh, to play there in feels, town. I mean, we had a play in the in my hotel room last night, and it was like this. This is this is only really good. We should do this more often. You know, we should. People will be make excited. A habit of it. Oftentimes, band get to your stature, and they don't make the time to do things like this. So people will be very excited yeah. that you're going to yeah. do that. Are you? What kind of people are you seeing coming out of the show? Obviously, you have long-time fans. Are, are new people coming out? There's some old-timers. There's some new-timers, young-timers. They um, might be the old-timers kids, though. I'm not sure. Yeah, they might, yeah. It's possible. Um, just complete random. I mean, I guess, I mean, things, certain shows like Primavera, I guess that was really big, and both Primaveras were big, and I think, I think we're aware that there's a small percentage really kind of new and we're, we're into what we did but then there's a, a lot of people that are just kind of like who and what is this kind of thing so a curious crowd which feels good it feels good to play to people like that because that kind of reminded me of how it used to feel like when we played to rooms of people like that anyway when we were first starting you know it was like a lot of people who were like I mean Coachella was like we we're playing in the afternoon in the tent it was like we mm -hmm. were the festival would have been completely fine without us, you know, being there. We were just lucky to be there kind of thing. So yeah. that was a crowd that was your blow-ins, really. I mean, I'm sure there was a few that were, knew who we were, but there was a lot of people that were just like there because they were curious and passing yeah. or whatever. So I like that you can draw these people in, hopefully, and give them something to listen to, to go and discover later. Yeah. New legions of fans. That's mm. great. Well, time will tell, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of that, when you did decide to start playing these shows, did you just have a few set out? Yeah. Because you've played a lot now. How mm. has that plan been unrolling, and what's the plan to go forward well, now? Well, we initially set up like three weeks, and then it became longer because they started putting in more beforehand, uh, like the West Coast ones that I mentioned before, and then putting in more afterwards as well. So we ended up doing... I mean, we're, we're out on the road now till nearly Christmas time doing mm. the same thing. So to keep it fresh, we're putting in as many changes as we can to the set. So we're trying to play more as we go on, more later stuff and, you know, yeah, mix it up. And is the end of the year as far ahead as you're thinking now? Yeah. 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 At, at the end of the night as far as I'm thinking now. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be a big yeah. show. So it's, we're in Katowice. I've heard a lot of good things about our festival. So I, I, I think... I think having been and done things, some, you know, things that are incredible can be there one minute and then, then it's just gone. So I think I'm really trying to learn to appreciate here and now a lot more than I ever did. Um, not really yeah. make, be bogged down and make plans. I mean, I know we're playing up until December and I'm, I'm really truly enjoying all of these gigs and all of this thing again. Yeah, it's been amazing. 
Well, I can't be more excited that we're sharing this moment with you. And thank you so much for doing this today. A real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.